So here I have a timing relay off eBay. This is basically a resettable timer that when you press a button or the trigger, which I have added here, it will count down and control a relay that turns on any type of load. So this is very confusing to wire if you don't know electronics pretty well. So I'm going to make a wiring diagram right here and test it out and show you guys how it works. So right here we have the switch and this is not this does not come with it. There's two contacts right here, two screwing contacts right there and there. And when you press the switch, it will bridge those contacts and turn on the timer and then the relay will turn on later. Even though the switch is there, this pin right here is still used and this we need to bring around and connect it to the middle one right here. So this wire that comes around here connects to the lowest one right here. Not the middle one and not the top one. The top one is for open circuit and that is not used. That's for normally on. We're going to use normally off because that's just what we're going to do. So next we have the lowest pin here and that is the positive lead and right here is the negative lead. And since I didn't want to make a mess of this box, I opened it up and I connected a wire through here and to the lower one right here, just how the wiring diagram says. This one is going to be out here, and we're going to use this one over here. And you can put any load on these two. This is just a switch right here. Because the re when the relay turns on, when you press the button, it times down. The relay turns on and no voltage comes out of here. Let's test it out. I've got my 12 volt battery here. Oop, I was wrong. This one's negative, this one's positive. And you can see the timer comes down and then you can hear the click of the relay. About two seconds when I press the button, it counts down and it turns on the relay for a split second. And all that is completely programmable using these three buttons right here. So let's connect up some wires so we can use this a lot easier. There's a little wire I said before that was connecting this side to this side right here. But connect up the leads like this. So this is how you can make it use only the original voltage from the battery by using a lead here and there. So this one would be connecting right there. I'll show you guys in a minute how that works. Okay, so now when we press the button, the timer should count down and flash the light. Yep. And there is no external power supply. It's just this 12 volt battery. So I'll draw a wiring diagram for the setup I've got right here. So here we go, that's the circuit diagram, and the board just sits right in the middle here. The board sits right here. And the three dots on each side represent the three connectors on each side here. Okay, so let's go through the functions of this thing. So to control the board, we have these three buttons. This one switches the mode, mode 2, mode 3, mode 4, and mode 1. So mode 1 is, it's on for a certain amount of time, and then when the time runs out, it turns off. Mode 2 is the one I showed you before, where it will count down, and then it will turn on the light for a few seconds or however long you set it for. 
Mode 3 is a cycle, so as you can see, it'll just keep going on and off, and it will follow the time specifications you give it. And mode 4 is you have to hold down the button for a certain amount of time, and then the light will turn off. But as soon as you let go of the button, it'll turn back on. So now let's get into how to set this thing. I'm turn it back to my specified one, number two. And you see that it has a timer on it. You'll want to press this button right here, and it'll highlight the number. Now it's 720 seconds. I'm going to change that back to zero, because 720 seconds is a, a long time. And here we have the next digit, and we can just change that using this. Switch to the next digit, and then it switches over to the time on. And I so if we're going to change that to 1.1 seconds, or 2.1 seconds, then we can just change it like that. And this button also controls the dot, and that dot right here is 20 seconds, the dot here is 2 seconds, and I'll show you that. There you go, two seconds. And now, and when you press the dot a third time, it'll disappear. Now the dot's 20 seconds. And you can see it's counting down from 20. So, it's pretty easy to use this thing, and I highly recommend you get one, because you can automate almost anything with this thing. It is incredibly useful. It was around five or six bucks for me. Uh, the only hard part is wiring up the trigger the way you want it, but overall it's an amazing product and uh, I highly recommend it. Thank you guys for watching, please like and subscribe.